My name is Tracy Divish. Uh, I've been at the zoo since 1995 and I work on Team Savannah. Our team cares for like giraffe, zebra, the plains antelope, also the rhino, the lion, and the area around the kopi, so caracal, hyrax, black-footed cats, those various types of smaller animals. One aspect of this job that people don't know about is conservation. Various keepers have various conservation projects. One of mine is the mussels, and we've been doing that since 2007. So a lot of people aren't necessarily aware that a person who works with giraffe and zebra is also working with mussels. It's easy to care for a tiger or a polar bear, but to care about for the things that aren't so fascinating, you know, things that aren't exactly super cute to look at. To get a zoo and to get people concerned about that is really important. Not only just mussels, but a lot of other animals that aren't exactly big charismatic creatures. We basically have two groups of mussels. We'll have some endangered species, and basically we'll get them when they're younger. And so they will grow up and grow big enough to where when we think they're big enough, we'll send them back into their native rivers. And we've put over 18,000 animals into five different states. Then the other group is our more common animals or more common mussels. And those we send out to colleges and universities for toxicology studies. And basically these guys help set the standards for the Clean Water Act. They'll expose it to some particular thing. I'll say nitrates, for instance, and see at what point will the nitrates have an adverse effect on the mussel. Then that's the standard. We don't want it to go above that level because if it goes above the level, not only will it kill the mussels, it'll eventually kill the frogs and the fish. And usually the water where the mussels is at is usually either water we care to swim in or in a lot of cases, drink from. The reason I got into this business is to try to make a difference. So we're doing stuff locally where we're making a difference locally. We not only preach conservation, but we're practicing it. And not only worldwide, but nationally and locally. The favorite part is, and it doesn't happen too often where I get to go, but when we've put mussels back into the rivers, that's, that's kind of interesting because you get to go out in the field. The worst day in the field is better than the, than the best day in the office. <laughs>